Hello everyone, hopefully you will be fine and enjoying the course of life. It's Ram Abdul Rahman here and you, you are most welcome to our channel Panamis 365 or Tutorials. On this channel we regularly post video tutorials on Dynamics 365 finance and operations. Our today's topic is how to create fiscal calendars in Dynamics 365 and why it is required to create fiscal calendar in Dynamics 365. Before going deep into, to into the topic, if you are new to this uh, channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can get notified about every new video posted on this channel. So now let's talk about why fiscal calendars are required in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Basically, when you record financial data in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations, you must include the date of the transaction. So by using a fiscal calendar and breaking it down into segments of years and periods, you can post or record financial data to predefined open period. You can create multiple calendars in Dynamics 365. You can create a separate calendar for fixed assets. You can create a separate calendar for projects. If you are running projects uh, and uh, you can create a separate uh, fiscal calendar for the general ledger like financial transactions. In today's session, we will be uh, walking you through uh, the uh, to discuss about the different points. Uh, like after watching this session, you will be able to differentiate between the ledger and fiscal calendars, and configure and set up fiscal calendars, years, and the periods. Fiscal calendars provide a framework for financial activity of an organization. A fiscal calendar contains one or more fiscal years and each fiscal year contains multiple periods. Fiscal calendars can be based on normal calendar like from Jan to December or it can be uh, set for any dates like you can use from July to June following year. You can use Feb to uh, March. The fiscal year in finance and operation can be set to any length divided into any number of periods shared across multiple legal entities. There is no limit to number of fiscal calendars. You can create as many as you want to and there is no limit to the number of fiscal years that can be created for a fiscal calendar. Each fiscal calendar is independent of your organization and can be used by multiple legal entities within the organization. For example, an organization has eight legal entities. Five of them share the same fiscal calendar and three use different fiscal calendars. So you can create five, one calendar for five entities and another calendar for the separate three entities if required. Having multiple calendars let you run parallel depreciations for the fixed assets and reduces the amount of setup required for each legal entity because you can use the same fiscal calendar for multiple legal entities. Having a separate calendar for projects helps you keep creating the accounting data and recording the transactions for the projects uh, for different dates. Point to note here is that the finance and operations post transactions according to the dates instead of periods. So accounting periods are used for reporting only. The closing of accounting period allows you to close the subledger to make sure that no additional transactions are recorded in that period. So you can easily uh, transform the closing balances and uh, transform the opening balances. Another point to note here is that each period at the ledger level can be closed completely or put on hold to block transaction posting set to enable selected for the selected users to continue and update for one of or more of the modules. You can create and delete fiscal calendars, fiscal years and periods on fiscal calendars page where I am, uh, which I am showing you on, on the screen. So here, let's create a new fiscal calendar. Let's say my calendar is, uh, have a name of test one and test created for demo so here my calendar starts from July 1st 
in terms on the following year 2023 july june 30th the calendar name is 2022-23 Length of period is one and it will be months. By clicking create, the system will be creating a new year. So here you see that test one calendar has been created. It contains uh, four, 13 periods. First one is the opening. Then uh, the first date will be used for the opening. It remains uh, closed for posting any manual transitions. Then you can have uh, operating periods. And then the last one, 13, will be a closing period uh, for the 6.30.2023. So let's add a year within the, this calendar. For creating a new year uh, within test one, I'll be going to the new year tab. And you see uh, the system has automatically copied data from the previous year. Uh, my previous year was ending on uh, June 30th. Now system created a new fiscal year from 7-1-2023 to 6-30-2024. And uh, the fiscal year name is the uh, populated from the uh, from the date when it was ending. So I can create here for 23. and four twenty three and twenty four create so in no time system has created another year from twenty twenty three to twenty twenty four so it have same because the check for the copy data from the previous year was active the system has created uh, all the data copied from the previous year. So let's create another one. In here, I will not, not be copying data from the last fiscal year. So now system will be asking me uh, how many peri periods you will be having in this year and how many months you will be having for the previous year. So what I can do for the fiscal year, I can create uh, the days or the years or the months. So these are the three units based on which I can measure my time. So let's copy from the last year and create another one. Once the period is created, you need to assign this to ledger. Or the you can use this calendar to uh, for the purpose for uh, any of the form where you you have created based on the purpose why you have created this calendar say if you have created this calendar for fixed assets then this needs to be done uh, associated with the fixed uh, assets calendar fixed assets module if you have created this calendar for the projects then you need to associate this calendar on the projects form and if you need you have created this calendar for the financial transactions uh, to be used in any of the legal entity then you need to go to legal entity ledger form and assign this calendar there since it has uh, no assignment on anywhere i have just created the years so because it has no association so i can uh, simply go and delete any of the year and uh, the calendar so if i need to delete the year i will be going to the fiscal year and press delete and click yes there will be this will be deleted why it has been deleted because it has no association no records uh, within that uh, on, on the specified dates there were, was no transaction it has no association with any other form so i can simply delete this if it has some posting posted data within that period or if i have uh, supplied this uh, calendar to the say fix assets or the projects or the ledger so before deleting from here uh, then i have have to uh, de-associate it from those forms 
Apart from this, if I have posted some of the transactions within a date on that date within this year or the, using this calendar, then I will not be able to delete this calendar or this year. So once the Thistle calendar is created and you are using uh, budgets for uh, for your organization, then you can create budgets uh, budget cycles based on this fiscal year. So for doing that, uh, on the same form, I will go to budget cycles, create a new one, provide span, choose the fiscal calendar, and here I have two options: either I can specify number of periods or I can map to the fiscal year if I want to map to the fiscal year I will be clicking this option and add a budget cycle for my starting period and ending period it will be straight away mapping with the uh, my dates where, uh, which are available on that fiscal uh, calendar and the year save that so, so we have uh, in this demo we have uh, discussed about how to create a fiscal calendar, add a year and add budget cycles to the, uh, the, the fiscal calendar, selected fiscal calendar. And apart from that, we have also discussed how to delete a fiscal, cal fiscal year from within a uh, calendar and uh, how to delete the calendar as well. So now let's uh, to the deletion area the same rule applies here as well since i haven't used this budget cycle in anywhere in the in the in the system i haven't posted any transaction to this cycle i can go and delete this from this delete button clear uh, since I haven't posted any transaction, I haven't associated this here to any of the uh, modules, so I can simply go and delete this here. And I haven't uh, used this calendar anywhere in the system, so what I can do, I will go di directly to delete button and say yes. So you see, we have created calendar, we have created years, we have created budget cycles, we haven't associated it anywhere, and then deleted all those data. So you do have option of adding a year, adding a calendar year, adding a budget cycle, adding a new calendar for uh, uh, your custom needs, like you can have a separate calendar for fixed assets, you can have separate calendar for say projects, you can have separate calendar for different legal entities, you can share the same calendar within the legal entities, you have unlimited number of periods within a, uh, within a year, you can define monthly periods, you can define daily periods, and then you do have options to add unlimited years within a calendar, you have option to create unlimited calendars within a system and same you can map your budget cycles with the uh, your fiscal calendars and fiscal years thanks for watching thank you so much let's meet in the next video if you have liked this video please uh, post comments and share your thoughts about uh, how we can uh, improve our content and please do uh, watch, keep watching, keep learning, keep sharing uh, so that many others can uh, know how to play with the Dynamics 365 finance and operations. Nowadays, it's a great uh, learning, uh, it's a highly paid skill, so you need to spend some time uh, after getting this uh, done. You can go to Dynamics 365 uh, page and from there you can download the demo again or you can also subscribe for a trial period for the 30 days. Uh, in order to do that, you need to actually have uh, an organizational account instead of a personal one. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.